LS57, another hot gameplay. We online with this one. I um, just want to say that, man. Online is just so broke. It's just so hurt. It ain't funny. Like, I need them to do something online, like the mechanics. Are you feeling the, the mechanics when you play online? Are you really feeling the mechanics like you have control over your players? Me, personally, I'm sliding everywhere, left and right. It feel like I don't have any control. The handles, like, it... It feels nasty, like dead serious. It feels nasty, and that's why I can't really get in the groove out here, man. Even when I call plays, it feels, it feels nasty. But I put up with it. But they really have to do something with these mechanics, man. I can't understand how they satisfied with this product right here. I'm not satisfied with this product, for real. It's it's horrible, serious. But you know, that's for all y'all people that think I'm a fanboy and I won't say something negative about 2K. But anyway, enjoy the gameplay. Um, LS57, you know what it is, man. Peace. Good. It's DeRozan with the drive. Get in there. Let's go. And Lowry, arguably the Raptors' best player last season, despite that, Steve, he was uh, the subject of repeated trade rumors. Well, it was such a curious situation for Toronto. On one hand, you know, they were trying to, to rebuild at the beginning of the season, maybe get a top draft pick, and then all of a sudden they started playing well. In the end, no trade. You know, Lowry becomes their best player, and then, uh, you know, he leads them to a top three seed in the playoffs. So it's kind of a strange season. Here is Lowry. After the basket by Minnesota. Ross, this is... Huh. Two-handed. Let's go. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. Yeah, fouled up. Touch my body. You fouling me though. Foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Hummels checked in. Let's go, Ross. Mohammed comes in for Brewer. Chase Buttinger is checked in for Wiggins. And Levine subbed in for Mo Williams. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Find a gap in the defense and attack that ring. You get, you get that. He's so good at doing just that. Maybe as good as anybody. Just so athletic and strong. And so here's Toronto. After the basket by Minnesota. Williams. Come on, man. He was wide open, man. Like. It's hold in by <laughs> really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Oh, he must not know. They took the, the cheese off of Zach Levine. And then getting the shot off two. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Let's see some of the numbers here for DeMar DeRozan. Some good work from him over the last 10 games. He's putting up about 20 points per game. Three rebounds and two assists. How long it takes for the ref to inbound the ball. Right at the level we expect. Yeah, we've seen him play better, but those are still numbers that are pretty superb by any measure. It's Williams with the Let's drive. Go. Shot Let's go, Lou. And yes, sir, that one drops. A chance at a two for one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two for one. Thirty-two seconds left to play in the first. Buttinger, no luck. Deflects the pass. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Maybe a low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. He heads up defending to deflect it away. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Johnson, he's checked in for Ross. And it's Vasquez in for DeMar to Ross. It's deflected. Let's go. Oh, and that one, no question. Lowry again. It's Williams. The drive by Lowry. And Yo, why 2K take so long to pass the ball? That whole animation took so long just to pass the ball. Like, throw a zip pass. Y'all don't throw zip passes in 2K anymore? He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm up jump. And some changes here. That's crazy. Then it's checked in for Gorgie Dan. Muhammad comes in. For Brewer, and it's Buttinger in for Wiggins. Chuck Hayes, he's checked in for Toronto. 
Williams comes in for Kyle Lowry. You can shoot in that weak shit we though, yo. Like, not making the game hard at all. Taking a look at Toronto. And of course, how long it takes to inbound the ball. <laughs> look how long it takes to inbound the ball. Well guys, head coach Dwayne Casey has overseen a surprising turnaround in Toronto. Their record has improved in all three seasons under his tenure. DeMar DeRozan said, since I've been here, he preaches the same thing. He told us to stick with it and it worked. Everything came together like he said it would. Gentlemen. Pound the rock. The team auto. They put in the work and stayed consistent. Thanks, Doris. Ross dishes to Dallin Jukes. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. They're struggling here. They're just one of five to start this third quarter. They've got to loosen up here. Now here's DeRozan. Mo Williams unable to go. Let's go, DeRozan. One of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Hummels checked in. Muhammad comes in for Brewer. Chase Buttinger is checked in for Wiggins. And Levine subbed in for Mo Williams. Second team foul. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And the whistle goes. Why are you reaching? That's his first foul. <laughs> Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Now, here's Brewer. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Lock at six. Johnson over to help. Let's go. Feeds it to Wiggins. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Stayed with it, but they couldn't get it to fall. Well, you look at here Johnson's offensive game. Certainly <coughs> for today's NBA. Not really a huge post-up game repertoire. But he gets off the floor, runs the court, finishes around the rim, and he's able to spread the floor because he's a good jump shooter. Here's Wiggins. Ice D from DeRozan. He's given them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't go DeRozan. The way. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. And they've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. And one, ref. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Mar DeRozan is starting to piece it together. I mean, we see him up in his scoring average. He's shooting it better. He's passing the ball with more um, confidence. He's, he's becoming more efficient. You know, after a big extension from the Raptors, I think they've got to be pleased with his progress. Trying to get back on track. Bennett. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. At the line for your Timberwolves. Anthony you Guys, when you look at DeRozan, where can he take the next step? Well, he has the physical tools to be an elite perimeter defender. He's made strides, definitely. But you know, he has the potential, I think, to be even better than what he is right now. Now, here is Lowry. And DeRozan. Here we go. And one, ref. DeMar DeRozan, a first-time All-Star last year. He improved his long-range shooting. The wing threes up around 40%. And that allowed him to shoot the best overall three-point percentage of his career. What a stellar outing in this one for DeRozan. He has 11 points. And from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I, I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. An easy two points on the layups. DeRozan's got nine points now in just the second half. 
And DeRozan last season cracking 30% from long range for the first time in his young, promising career. That outside shot has been the missing part of his offensive game because we know he can get to the rack. Oh my gosh. Why you just can't drive in and score? Johnson can't hit. Williams with the ball. Now Valanciunas defending. Here's Dan. Like drive in and score. Like what the? He was fouled the way up. Two free throws now for him. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. Shooting. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he knocks down the first one. We can talk about DeRozan attacking inside Steve last season among the top five in free throws made. Yeah, six seven. He's strong. He's athletic. You know, he has the ability to finish in the lane. And I just like the way he's improved as a passer as well, getting his teammates involved. And it's Lowry penetrating. One second separate in the shot clock in game clock. And the foul on Mo Williams. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 from the line tonight. And the first one drops. So both teams changing it up here. Oh, man. Both free throws <laughs> from DeRozan. He gave up. Uh, LS57, man. That's what I deal with online. These weak ass niggas, man. Peace.